Daily Broadside, day 510. You know what really puts uh, a spur in your boot? I think that's a saying. I don't use it, but it just popped into my head, so I said it. But uh, you know what like, kind of ruins your day? Um, when you go to make lunch and your dumb ass has bought tuna in a can and vegetable oil. God, what? why do they do that? Why? I don't want it in olive oil, vegetable oil, whale oil, blubber, nothing. Just put it in water and leave it alone. Nasty people. It's, it just changes the whole complexity of, of it. And there's nothing better than than tuna fish sandwich, you know. And I know that eating tuna out of a can is not the freshest thing in the world, but I don't live near the ocean. I can't just go catch a tuna and go and and I damn sure ain't going to buy a damn tuna and turn it into a tuna fish sandwich. That just seems like very uh, cumbersome of a, an event. You know what I mean? I'll tell you a story. I, uh, I was with this girl. I don't know, a while back, it's probably late last year, I can't remember, but uh, I went over to her house one night after work, and I got to her house at probably 7.30. I said, I'll be there about 7.30, and I'm starving, so let's not dilly-dally, let's just head out. I said, I'm going to head to the house, take a shower, throw some clothes on, I'll be there at 7.30. I'd be waiting in the driveway. Well, she wasn't waiting in the driveway, but a few minutes later, so I walk in, right, and she's like, and I'm like, let's go. She, and, you know, we were going to our favorite bar, like a sports bar, just great place, you know, Kino, good drinks, amazing food, you know. And uh, and so I said, let's go. She's like, is that what you're wearing? I'm like, yes, yeah, what I'm wearing. I don't care. And what I was wearing was just a white undershirt, you know, like uh, like uh, Fruit of the Loom, just a white un un undershirt that I threw on because I jumped out of the shower. That was the first drawer I saw. I threw it on lock step and I'm gone right and so uh she's like well it's got a stain on it I looked down and, I, and there was like this stain right across one side of the chest now it was really faint you couldn't see it but women they pick up on stuff like that and I'm like oh that I don't even care I don't know any of these people I don't care it's not it's not like it's a purple stain you know I didn't like vomit on myself and I, I, could, I was trying to remember like what in the hell was that from you know because I think it was recent that I did it but I just couldn't remember what it was right and uh Long story short, we head off. She rolls her eyes. We get in the truck and we head off. We come back, you know, we're in bed by 12 o'clock at night, right? So at about 2.54 a.m., I wake up out of a dead sleep. And I sit up and I'm like, corn juice. That's what that's what I said to myself. I was like, corn juice. And I, 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 I was like, hey, hey, you up? And she's like, what? <laughs> of course she wasn't up. I was like, corn juice. And she's like, what i was like it was corn juice that was what was that's what i spilled i was eating a bowl of corn like niblets you know like corn i think it was shoe peg corn in fact and i had put like a pat of butter on it and when i went i, I was watching something on tv or whatever and i spilled it on myself and so it was corn butter and she was like thanks for that and went back to bed um that's how my mind works if you want to encapsulate What's going on up here? It's that. Like, my mind basically told my body, wake the hell up. We figured out what was on your damn shirt, you know? And uh, we went from there, you know? I might have told you. Well, I didn't might have told y'all anything. I told y'all a few weeks ago that at the end of September, I will be meeting Corey Feldman because I have backstage tickets to go see this train wreck of a show. And I can't wait. It's going to be magical. It's going to be a magical evening. Well, then I get the bad news from uh one of my buddies who's going with me he's like hey Corey feldman and his wife are separating after seven years or something like that and i'm like let's say right now if this separation puts a damper or cancels this tour that i have already waited long enough to see in person i'm gonna be livid so he better find somebody else to put fake angel wings on and play the keyboards and sing out of tune on stage because i'm gonna tell you what this this just better not make it go off the rails because it's already off the rails enough if you know what i mean right um ah yeah so we'll see how that goes and uh yeah i don't know but anyway uh the i've noticed that the rule of tiktok women is basically if you have large breasts big tits whatever you want to call it you basically just go live and title it something like Get ready with me. Make breakfast with me. Watch me go put makeup on. You know, help me do laundry. And and they're sitting there with no bra on doing laundry. And I, I, I know guys are dumb. They really are. And I'm a sucker for a good nipple through a shirt. I'll stop for a second and be like, 
so dumb. And then I scroll on because I can't bring myself, despite how good it may look, right? She may be the most beautiful thing in the world, and typically they're not. Uh, but I just have a problem supporting that, um, even if I'm not really supporting it by looking at it, you know? Um, so I scroll on by because I just, I don't understand the logic of guys. I, I really don't. Like, and maybe it's, you know, guys that are just hard up for women and can't find a date to save their life. I don't know. But uh, it, it just boggles my mind that a chick can put a braless shirt on. A braless shirt. A shirt without a bra on. Fold some laundry or do some dishes. And have nothing to offer a conversation other than scrub a dub dub. She's like cleaning the dishes, you know, wiping a plate down. And then she's like, thank you, Stephen, for the heart and roses. Rub a cup, whatever. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> you know. Oh, thank you. You're so cute. Well, hello from Detroit. Hello from Detroit. Hello from Illinois. I'm not too far. Spit shining this plate like a mofo. Huh, what? <laughs> yeah, I, oh, I, they're real. <laughs> I mean, that's what this is. It's so freaking stupid. And I'm like, I don't understand how men have built most of civilization and society. Most of it. Now, I mean, I mean, I'm not discounting the, the what women have brought to the table, but I'm saying like, most of what has been built and created on this planet has been engineered and constructed by man. And I don't know how they got any of that done, because at any moment they can just squirrel off on some titties. You know what I mean? I mean, we the, the pyramids, when they were being built by aliens or whoever, those aliens probably like, if some chick walked through without a bra on, they're like, you know, whatever the hell aliens talk like. And they're putting stones up there and they drop the stone on their foot because, you know, they're uh, looking at some braless alien with uh, alien nipples. I don't know, man. I just, I just, I don't understand. Um, I don't understand this, this app sometimes. But, hey, you do you, as the kids say. Get it.